when the U.S. imperialists and their stooges were clamoring for a war to crush socialism in Korea, Kim Jong-il, supreme commander of the Korean People's Army, ordered the whole country into semi state. In the confrontation against the United States, it led the people to get everything prepared to take the initiative in countering whatever provocation by the enemy. In Moore, who defended his faith without yielding to all sorts of torture and appeasement in prison in South Korea for 34 years, is embraced by socialist motherland by Kim Jong-il. This is a great victory of the Korean people. Korea's victory in the confrontation against the United States was a historic event that elevated to the highest the international prestige of Juche Korea, which is under the leadership of President Kim Il-sung and General Kim Jong-il. Korea proved itself to be a great power of ideology, a great power of politics and a great military power. Korea, which has always been victorious and glorious, shares brilliant rays all around because it is led by Kim Jong-il, successor to President Kim Il-sung. The unexpected death of President Kim Il-sung, the great father of the Korean people, was the greatest loss of the Korean nation and mankind, as well as their greatest misfortune. When the whole nation was grief-stricken, Kim Jong-il, who was more sorrowful than anyone else, shook up the people. He made a Kumsusan Memorial Palace the sacred temple of Chuche and placed President Kim Il sung there to be immortal. He thus fulfilled the earnest desire of the people who yearn for the president. The great leader, comrade Kim Il-sung, will always be with us and let us arm ourselves more firmly with the revolutionary idea of the great leader, comrade Kim Il-sung. These slogans, raised by Kim Jong-il, inspired a grief-stricken people and soldiers with redoubled strength and courage. Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il visited soldiers at the front in pursuit of army-centered politics to safeguard a red flag of revolution which symbolizes whole life of President Kim Il-sung. The Supreme Commander was at the front when the imperialists and other enemies were clamoring that Socialist Korea would hold down the red flag. When asked whether they will surrender and leave as slaves of imperialism or will fight and keep the honor of the guards, the soldiers answered as follows. Great General, it is our honor whether we live or die in the fight under your command. <laughs> 